because you will catch trends much quicker. So say you launch a whole bunch of campaigns one day, right? And your spend doubles. If you're only tracking it weekly, then it's going to take you a week to figure out that you had really high spend versus if you're tracking it daily, you can catch it in 24 to 48 hours. So that's why daily is preferred. But if it's a pain, if you can't do it daily, because it's really, again, it's, it's difficult, then I would do it weekly. I would just split the difference and do it weekly. The software tools we use allow us to chart trends on a graph as well as compare two date ranges and trends. And it's really helpful for us to chart the things on the graph because you can immediately see the spikes. And we're also able to filter for certain products and see the graph of trends for a certain listing, a subset of listings, a specific product. Like there's so many ways we can slice and dice the data and our insights are pretty much instant. Yeah, so if you're asking about spend spikes, is it too early to judge? Like you said, 24 to 48 hours, potentially. But if I saw a spend spike over two days and I didn't see any impact in the total sales increases, I didn't see any impact on ad sale increases and I didn't see any impact on sessions, I can make a judgment call within 24 to 48 hours that that's probably, maybe not necessarily we wanna turn it off because to your point, it can take some time to test things, but at the very least we should be maybe reevaluating how much we're investing. And when I say spend spikes, like it's very easy in Q4 to launch something and have your spend double overnight. Like these times are times to really keep a finger on the pulse of what's going on. And you should be checking your accounts daily, daily. And no matter how many clients we get, we will always check accounts daily. Now, again, we have scalable ways of doing that because we have, we're leveraging software here, but we need to be able to like check these things and keep a finger on the pulse because it, it, it's so easy for stuff to spin out of control. And it's not always that you actually even have to do much. It's just you need to know what's going on. And daily is the best way to do that. But that is a good point. There is a, such a thing as over-optimizing. Over-optimizing would be not giving things enough clicks to be able to make that determination. But if I got 200 clicks within a 48-hour period, and my click-through rate was really low, and I had zero orders, I have enough clicks to make a judgment call. And it's only, you know, 24, 48 hours, right? Maybe, again, maybe I'm not turning it off. Maybe it's something I'm, I'm trying to see if I can get any traction on. But at the very least, I probably don't have to spend that much on it. So there's ways, I think, that you can make judgment calls. It depends on the data, really, the volume of data. And yeah, I agree with you. You know, you do want to give some things some leeway, but you don't want to let things run for weeks and weeks without doing anything to them, or at the very least being aware of something. So that would be my feedback there.